I would like to invite the guests of today, Mr. Subroto Bakshi and Mrs. Sushmita Bakshi onto the dais. Guys, give a please give a round of applause. This is the first time in our life to be uh, with young people like you in such numbers, in such an absolutely stunning, impressive facility. We are extremely grateful that you took your time out from your very busy uh, schedules. Uh, we know how difficult it is for you because we have uh, uh, two daughters and uh, we have, it's not a long time ago that uh, they went through school and uh, we know how difficult it is. Many people don't realize, but it is really difficult to be managing school the way you are doing. So I read on the internet that you gave your postgraduate education to start your working life as a clerk. What was the reason behind that? I was uh, studying um, in the university. Uh, I was telling you earlier that we have two fates. The, um, or, or, you know, I was telling that there was this uh, two futures, the future of desire and future of fate. So my future of desire was to be a researcher, right? And I wanted to do research in a particular university in India, which was in Delhi. Uh, but uh, circumstances were difficult and I couldn't um, go there. Uh, despite the fact that I had, you know, admission that I couldn't afford it. So I went to the local university and quickly realized that I'm wasting my time there. You know, I'm just going along with the flow and I was not learning anything significant or anything new. And I was also uh, dependent on my own family and I didn't like that. So I didn't want to be a burden on the family. And looked around and I said, let me now stand on my own two legs and fend for myself. But this is India of a very different time. And it wasn't easy to find a job in that place. The only job available was with uh, the government as a clerk in a government office. So I said, fine, I'll take that. And that is how I started my work life. I worked there for a year and then, of course, moved on to be a management trainee in one of India's uh, you know, uh, top 10 industrial houses. But the starting point was there. The call came when I said, I'm doing something which is not making sense to me. It's not, uh, not to my heart. So I'm going to my university every day, but you know, in the heart of my heart, I'm not connected there. So I shouldn't be doing it. Who was your inspiration for writing uh, and uh, what kind of books do you like to read? My whole life has been about admiring ordinary people who can do extraordinary things. So our lives are uh, special because we can do special things. And when I look around, I see the waiter in the hotel. I see the plumber, the technician. I see an auto rickshaw driver. I see an ordinary software engineer. I see a teacher. I see you know, somebody that you won't even pay attention to in the normal course of your life. And I see special things about them. So for me, the inspiration comes from everyday people. And that is because I deeply believe that, uh, you know, the world is special because ordinary people do extraordinary things. I cannot read um, more than three, uh, four languages. But I have read almost all uh, writers in all kinds of languages because I read their translations. And when I read those, I get to know the culture of that uh, part of the uh, world. And it really inspires me to write about what I know or what I see. And if uh, the, your other question was what I am reading now. Um, you know, suddenly I got interested in write, uh, reading um, some of the books. Those were written, uh, written around the 60s. And two very famous books I read recently, which I had somehow missed earlier. One was Kuswan Singh's uh, Train to Pakistan, and uh, another was Kamla Markande's uh, Nectar in the Sea. 
if uh, you get a chance please read it's such well written books and if you i feel that if you read more there will be a time the, when you will be able to write and you to to be able to write you have to read good books so please do that